In this video, I want to take a look at Excel uh, and the Box Mueller uh, transformation. So Excel provides a, a basic uh, function RAND, uh, open close parenthesis, for generating a number between zero and one. But let's say that one wanted a sort of normal distribution of values, then that is what the Box uh, Mueller transformation does. So I'm just here, I am on the Wikipedia for Box Mueller. And it says, suppose U1 and U2 are independent samples chosen from uniform distribution from zero to one, which is exactly what um, Excel is providing in its RAN. And then it says, get uh, Z's. Z0 and Z1, which are the square root of minus two natural log of U1 times cosine of two pi U2. And then the other one is the same, except sine instead of cosine. And then they are supposed to be, have a standard normal distribution, meaning that it was, uh, that the mean is zero and the uh, standard deviation is one. Okay. So, <clears throat> That's what I decided to do. So column A here is just a counter, and I decided to do a thousand of them, and then some statistics at the bottom. And then I have uh, a column of just a U1. And remember that these uh, RAND is a uh, volatile function in Excel. So as, as I poke around, the, the random numbers are going to sort of regenerate. So let's just see a look at that. So if I were to it just keeps bopping around. That's the volatility. Okay. So here's U1, which is just a, a rand. Here's U2, which is just another rand. Here is that square root of minus two natural log of uh, one of the numbers of B1, close off the square root, times cosine of two, here's Excel's pi, PI, open close parenthesis, times the other random number. Again, that was, let me see if I can show them together. That is the box Mueller. Okay, so the number was between zero and one, so the logarithm will be negative. So then minus two times that will be positive, and then you can take its square root. Okay, so that was the game. I got a Z0 and a Z1. And I made just used uh, Excel's quick uh, statistical function and made uh, histograms. And so here's a histogram of Z0 and a histogram of Z1. So they look uh, fairly, fairly normal. And as I bop around, they they change, but they stay more or less normal with, the, with some with some jumping around. Okay, and now let's look at some of the statistics that I have at the bottom. I got things messed up on myself. Okay, so here was remember that B and C were the uniforms, and D and E are the standard normals. So the the average, the mean should be a zero for those normal, and the standard deviation should be one. So here we go for the uniforms between zero and one. You the mean is about uh, should be about 0.5 was with some fluctuation and for the normal distributions it should be zero and there again we have that the standard deviation um for the uniform the standard deviation uh for this box Mueller transformed values distributions should be about one it's a, a standard normal so uh, about a, the median the mean should be zero, the standard deviation one. So that seems to be true. The skewness will tell you if the 
uh, distribution is sort of slanted one way or another, and this, this should be zero for a normal distribution. And so we're getting a relatively small value close to zero. The uh, kurtosis is another measure of how close this is a sort of um, fourth moment measure. Um, this measure that Excel uses is the uh, excess, I think it's the excess kurtosis. So other definitions of kurtosis would give a, a three for a normal distribution, but the way Excel's got it set up, it will give a zero for a normal distribution. And so we see here the kurtosis is small. The median um, one for a normal distribution, the median and the mean should be close. And again, uh, it should be close to zero. So I did a median um, and those are again, both small. Um, and that's another sort of indication that it's uh, an indication of skewness could be if the mean and median were different, but they're uh, not terribly different. Um, and then I looked also at quartiles. And so I pop over here, another uh, a site that uh, told me about some Z scores, specifically the quartiles. And it's telling me that for the standard normal distribution, the first quartile is going to be sort of almost minus two thirds and the third quartile sort of positive two thirds. And so here is a minus 0.69 for the first quartile and a minus 0.628 for these two distributions and a 0.61 and 0.628. So we're getting uh, roughly the right quartiles, the right kurtosis, the right skewness. Okay, so it seems to be working out pretty well. So this is just a way in Excel. So Excel provides again, this, uniform distribution and you can get other distributions from this one. In this case, I'm getting uh, playing a, a known transformation, the Box Mueller, to get a standard normal distribution. And if you wanted um, a non-standard, if you wanted normal but non-standard, you could take your uh, one of the distributions and um, take those numbers and multiply them by this, the standard deviation you want that will stretch it out or squeeze it up accordingly. If it's more than, if the standard deviation is more than one, stretch it out. If it's less than one, squeeze it up a bit and then add, uh, add a median, sorry, add, yeah, add the mean. So to sort of shift the whole distribution to, to have the right uh, center. So once you get the standard normal distribution, it's easy to get some other uh, normal distribution from it. So that's what I wanted to show you, just a nice a sort of a known uh, transformation uh, to get from a uniform distribution to a normally distributed uh, distribution using Mox Mueller. All right, that's it. Thanks for your attention.